Hello guys and welcome back to the fish tank. It is your boy Cole and today we are working on a 1935 Ford truck that we're going to combine with this muscle machine bottom to create the ultimate Halloween themed cartoon car. So guys I want you to sit back, relax, enjoy the video, grab some popcorn and happy Halloween. Let's jump into it. Back. I know it's been a long time since we've had a video right now, but I am on fall break this weekend, and I decided we're going to take this rat rod. I'm going to guess it's, yeah, it's 35 Ford rat rod pickup, and we're going to make it into a Halloween-themed cartoon car by using these parts off a muscle machine. So guys, let's get started. We're going to move to the drill press. I uh, finally uh, acquired one. Well, my father did, but we are going to move over there and try it out. So I'll see you over there. All right, guys. So if you guys haven't seen my Instagram, this is the new drill press that we're going to use to drill out cars like our one today. So I understand the lighting is not great. Um this that's just for now i'm trying to figure out good camera angles for this but as of right now this is the one that i'm going to use so what i always see people do is when they're using drill press you should use a um, paper rag put down so you can support your car so it doesn't move as much and then you just obviously you you go to town right so that's what we're going to do today um, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to prep myself to drill out our 35 Ford. So, we got the car drilled out after we had some attempts, if you can see that. So, it's a new learning process. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm thinking from now on, when I get the bear castings, I'm just going to drill them out, which is fine. I mean, uh, not, well, I'm going to drill them out, obviously. Why am I saying that? But I'm also going to clamp them down really lightly. With something on top of them so it doesn't scratch the paint or anything even though i'm stripping it off but my plan is to clamp them down straighten them drill them out so we'll figure that out but now we're going to move on to i want to smooth out this post as best as possible and then when we strip it um i'm going to go back in and smooth that one down with a grinding tool so let's at least do this one because we're going to do both with the grinding tool i just want this to have a better uh, connecting point, if you will. Now, as always, guys, you know what's going to happen next. We're going to push everything else to the side, aka just on top of our uh, little handy dandy uh, box. We're going to open our chum bucket. We're going to plop that little guy in there. So, we're going to let that sit all today. And then when we come back tonight, this is Saturday, by the way, we started this video on Friday. We're going to pull this out, clean it, polish it, and it's going to be ready for primer because I got a weird idea that I want to try. It's not really a weird idea. It's something I've done before, but I haven't done it in a while, so we're going to see if we can improve that technique. Move on to our wheels. So if you guys remember, we're going to use these freaking uh, muscle machine wheels, front and back. So... The back ones, obviously, are going to have to get connected by a post and cut because there's no way that is fitting on that. There's just no way. So these, I'm convinced, might fit on here, but we'll see the here in a minute. If anything, we put a post in between here, split this down the middle, make it longer. No problem. Same thing with this. We're going to split this and then put it on the ends, glue it. They'll spin freely. It'll look nice. As we talked about in the last little part of our video, we, um, if you haven't seen here, we've done a lot since um, examining our, our base, what we're going to do with the wheels. So as you see here, we did some custom work with that. If you can see there, we did some custom um, metal tubing pipes for the wheels, so front and back. That's the only way you can really get those on. The uh, body was taken out of stripper, and we did some quick cleaning just to get the rough crap off of it, the majority of it. Sanded down some posts, and this is going to be going to the primer and paint. 
but we will be doing a lot of paint segments in this video, so look forward to that. Also, we went ahead and painted our interior and engine, so we can get right to detailing as soon as possible. So, yeah. We are Meanwhile, back in the fish tank. Welcome back. We have came back from paint. So, as you see here, we have some fully painted spots, like this fender. Back here. Inside of here. So, a little bit over here. And then a lot of primer showing through. So that's intentional, just so you know. So I wanted to get that rusty, faded paint kind of look. So it actually turned out pretty cool. So what I did was, it was pretty simple. Just had it far away when I was spraying. And just, you know, just did light bursts, didn't paint it the whole way. I just wanted to give it that fade effect without having to sand. Or do much after work afterwards. So this is pretty cool. So what we got to do with this now is pretty simple. We just got to fill in details. Do a little of the uh, powder treatment. And honestly clear coat it. And then this is done. After that. And here is to use the wood paint. Believe it or not, I was trying to open this and it freaking broke. So this sucks, but we're going to have to get this on nice. And we got one shot at this. So let's get at it. All right, guys, after a couple days, we have finished our car. So this has been a very, very productive couple days. So as you see here, interior is finished. We did the yellow lights, detailed the motor, did a little work back here that I'm not really excited about, probably going to change it, and did a little detail on the interior. I just like a black interior on a rat rod like this. I think it just looks clean, and it's more, I don't know, just stands out a little bit more. Oop. Damn it. No? That paint was still wet. Oh well. Then didn't do anything to the windshield. Windshield was brand new. Um now we got our base. Didn't do much work to it. Obviously, we just added new tires and rims that used a new set of steel tubing and new wheels. So that looks pretty cool. And then our freaking base of our car so we did went with that kind of glossy rusty car and this is how it turned out and i think it turned out pretty sweet so guys let's let's go put this car back together and let's go see what we started with and finished with also guys if i don't say it at the end of the video i hope you guys have a great holiday happy halloween um I know I haven't been around for a while, but this is going to hopefully be more frequent since the holiday season's coming up. So look out for more cars, more videos, and guys, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, so let's briefly do this. So if you guys don't remember, this is what we started with. We started with a very basic Matchbox 1935 Ford truck and this Muscle Machines bottom. So... Let's take a second, wait, and see what we finished with.
I'll see you over there. And guys, this is what we finished with. This is our 1935 Ford truck cartoon car. I think it looks great. It, it gives me some Halloween vibes, you know, freaking rusty, uh, cartoonish. Details are done. Paint looks fantastic. And overall, this was such a fun build to do in a couple days. It was great to be back. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little longer than normal, but I wanted to produce the best video possible for you guys. Thank you for everything, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Happy Halloween. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow. If you want to watch more, click here. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Ha 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 ha!